सो हाई टीम वेलकम टू आर चैनल सो थैंक यू ऑल फॉर योर सपोर्ट एंड सॉरी फॉर इन कन्वीनियंस एक्चुअली आई डिडेंट गेट दैट मच टाइम टू प्रिपेयर अ वीडियो सो सॉरी फॉर दैट एंड दैट्स वे आई डिडेंट अपलोड एनी वीडियो इन लास्ट मंथ सो टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिस मोड सो इट्स एस एम पी टॉपिक्स सो इट्स एस एम पी पार्ट टू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज सिस मोड एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ सिस मोड ऑल्सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन द मेन फ्रेम सो लेट्स ए स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज टॉपिक सो वट इज सिस मोड सो सिस मोड इट्स द सिस्टम मॉडिफिकेशन so why we need system modification so whenever you will need to change the software on your geo system and maybe you want to improve the usability or reliability of the product you want to add some new function to your system and upgrade some of the element of your system or if you want to modify some element at that time you know you need to do the sys mod so this is the software where it's a product or service that means it's a consist of elements such as uh, micros modules and other elements that is specified by the sysmod so sysmod it's a combination of elements so and uh, control information is called the sysmod so sysmod is the actual package of elements and it's a control information that smp needs to install and track the system modification so sysmods are composed of the combination of elements and control information so they are consider consisted by two parts first one is the mcs so mcs that means the modification control statement so it's a design by plus plus as the first two characters that tells about the smp so what uh, elements are being updated or replaced how the sysmod relates to the product software and other sysmods and other specific installed information so modification text is the object module like uh, micros and uh, other elements supplied by the sysmod so next is the types of sysmod so there are four types of sysmod first one is the function so function sysmod introduce the new product or a function new version or it's a update a function for the existing product into the system next is the ptf so ptf is the program temporary fix so it's a ibm supplied or corrected for a reported problem so ptf are mean to be installed in all the environment and ptf can be used as a preventive service to avoid a certain known problem that might not have yet appeared on your system so they can be used to correct the service to fix problem so we use the ptf next is the apr so apr is authorized program analysis report so is a temporary fix designed to correct or bypass a problem for the first report of the problem so apr is not uh, may applicable to all the environment but uh, apr is designed to be installed on a particular preventive service level of the element last one is the user mod so a user mod uh, that means it's created by you or uh, either it's changed by ibm code so, or uh, added a new independent function of the system so user mod must always be used as the function sys mod sometime like a certain ptf apr fixed or other user mod at that time we can use so smp keeps tracks of the function service level and each of the element and use the sys mod hierarchy so let's understand one by one in the details so first one is the function sys mod so it's introducing an element into the system so what is the uses so it's add a new element to your system you install a function sys mod so function sys mod is a new product new version release of a product update a function from the existing product into the system so all other types of sys mods are depends upon the functions is mod so this is the very important why because 
they are all modification of the element originally introduced by the function sysmod that's way all other types of sysmods are depends upon the function sysmod so uh, for managing the element smp expect that they are combined into the sysmods a sysmod and the system modification into the single basic units of the work so there are four kinds of sysmod they are the function sysmod are we called as the fmid so that's are the ptf a par and the user mod we already discussed in the previous slide so every sysmod has the seven character id and which must be begin with the alphabetical character so in this diagram we see like the installation of the function sysmod is the link edit object module that means it's the mod one and a link edit object module mod two mod three and mod four to create a load module or we called as the l mod 2 so this is the system library in system library after link edit process it's create the l mod 2 so it's a load module 2 so this executable code create in a load module so l mod 2 is installed in the system library through the installation of the function sysmod so there are two types of function sysmod first one is the base function sysmod and the second one is the dependent function sysmod so base function sysmod so base function sysmod is add or replace an entire system function example of the base function of the smp or we call as the js2 and when we call the dependent function now at that time it's provide the or additional or its existing system uh, function so it's called the dependent because its installation depends upon the base function that already being installed so this is the dependent function so both base functions is modes and dependent functions is mode are used to introduce the new element into the system that call the system now we are going to discuss about the problem fixing that means it's the ptf so ptf you already know it's the preventing or fixing the problem with the element so how we apply and when we apply so this is the fix comes from the program temporary fix or ptf so in this diagram you can see packaging modules in the ptf like uh, if we want to replace the element mod 1 and uh, mod 2 we we should install the ptf sysmod that consists this modules and uh, that ptf sysmod replace the element in error with the corrected element so as part the installation of the ptf sysmod smp relink l mod 2 so to introduce the new uh, new and corrected version of the uh, mod 1 and mod 2 which we want so ptf sysmods are always dependence upon the installation of function sysmod and in some case ptf sysmod might also be dependent upon the installation of other ptf sysmod so this dependency are called the prerequisite so here ptf2 contains mod 2 and mod 3 so mod 2 and mod 3 are the corrected version and like uh, when we apply mod 2 and mod 3 at that time for mod 1 and mod 2 and mod 3 is to interface successfully and uh, ptf uh, should uh, apply at that time so next is the a bar sysmod so in this diagram you can see mod 2 so mod 2 is containing error so the processing of the a bar sysmod that's provide the modification for object module mod 2 during the installation of a bar sysmod so mod 2 is updated in the load module l mod 2 so that's all for today so thank you all uh, if you have any doubt please uh, mention in the comment box and uh, please like share and subscribe this channel so thank you all bye